I'm making a flyer for trivia night at a local restaurant, and I think it needs something else to really make it pop. One of the best ways to do that is by adding shapes, so I think I'm going to add one behind trivia night. First, go to insert, and then click shapes. And you'll see that there are a lot of different shapes to choose from. For my purposes, I'd like some kind of star shape, and I think this one might work well. First, click on the shape, then on the document, click and drag, and the shape will appear. Once it's there, you can change the size by dragging these handles. And if you drag one of the corner handles, you can adjust the height and width at the same time. And you can also rotate it by dragging the green handle. Right now the shape is covering up the text, and I actually wanted it behind that. Anytime you have shapes or other elements overlapping each other, you'll need to think about the ordering. In this case, I want to move the shape back so it'll be behind Trivia Night. Right-click the shape, and you'll see that there's a Bring to Front and Send to Back option. And each one has its own little menu with more options. In this case, we want to send it behind the text. Then I'll move this text down to get it out of the way. It still looks a little plain, but luckily we have a number of different options for changing the appearance of a shape. Select the shape, and then the Format tab will appear. From here we can select a shape style. And there's a drop-down arrow that you can click to see all of them. This is one of the quickest ways to change the appearance of a shape, because it's automatically changing the background color, outline, and sometimes adding one or more effects. But if you really want to customize it, you can change these things individually. I'm going to select this red color for the fill, and then this purple color for the outline. I can barely see the outline right now, so I need to increase the weight. When you hover over the different weights, you'll see a preview of them in the document. And this is looking better, and now I think I'll just add an effect. If you want, you can mix and match several different effects, but I think I'm just going to add a bevel. And beveling adds kind of a curved edge to the shape, which helps it to look three-dimensional. All right, this is looking a lot more eye-catching now. Adding just one shape made it look a lot more like a flyer. Like what you just saw? Rate it. Add a comment. Subscribe to our channel. The freedom to learn. What you want, when you want absolutely free. GCFLearnFree.org